how to order albums and wall art without making costly mistakes for professional wedding and portrait photographers. Here we have a professional album and one of the things you need to be careful of is where album lines will be cut so that you don't lose important parts of the photo. And then with wall art, we have the same issues, especially with canvases where the photo wraps around the edges. I'm gonna show you in Funny Designer how to never make a mistake and never cost yourself hundreds of dollars with a misprinted album or piece of wall art. Let's dive in. When you're ready to export or order your album, wall art, or cards, you'll want to go to the export menu in the top right hand corner. Here you'll see options to order direct from your lab, export for print, create a design proof for the design proofer, which you can also access right here. You can also export a web version of your album. Export for splits will split the pages in half. And that is very important when you're ordering press books from some companies because they require single pages. There are also some other export options down here as well as the ability to save out a template as a design set. But I would like to concentrate just on these first two up here, which is what you will use most of the time. Order direct from the lab from one of our direct lab partners or export the JPEG spreads or wall art or cards ready to print at the lab of your choice. But before exporting or ordering, it is very important to double check your files to make sure you won't have any print errors. I'm going to double click on this spread and let's close this panel. And it's very important to understand that this pink line is dynamic and this is the cut zone. Your lab has given us all of the specs for their albums, wall art, etc. And in order to make an album have that really flush, clean look, they take the album, put it together, and they use a giant guillotine to slice off the edge. And this red line says that they are going to cut into this red line. The green line says this is definitely safe. Don't worry, anything inside this green line will be safe. Most likely we will cut in this red line but there is a chance we might even cut a little bit past this red line. So definitely keep everything important within this green. So what I would do in this case is I would not keep these two images like this. I would swap these two images because now if I cut into this image over here, there are not going to be any problems at all. Now, if you're not seeing the cut zone or safe zone under the view menu, you can toggle those on or you can use the G key to toggle grid lines on, everything off, and then the cut zone and safe zone back on. Now let's take a look at wall art because this is also important, especially for canvas prints. For metal prints, usually doesn't matter quite as much, but let's open this up. I'm going to turn the sizes off. Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see. And these are not the best images here to demonstrate this as you most likely won't print these images, but let's just take a look. So we have canvas. Let's go ahead and canvas and we have image wrap. Now what we can see is we can see that this crop is a little bit odd, right? And we can go a little bit over here, but maybe you want to fit both of these faces on. And so if you have a wrap, everything on the green side, the outside of the green is what will wrap on a canvas in wall art. So what you can do is you can change from image wrap to color wrap, meaning we'll put a color around the edge. Most likely you want to do black or gray or something like that. Additionally, you can even get in here and you can sample the color. Let's go ahead and sample uh, this pink right here. Again, I would not print this. This is for demonstration purposes only. But now when we close this, you can see that inside this green line, let's turn off the grids, that is pink. And so we're able to have pink around the edges. So a color around the edges and then include the full frame of the image. And in order to do that again, uh, this is with the color wrap image wrap. 
Now, if you have metal prints, usually the edge that's going to be cropped off is so minimal for wall art, it's not really even worth talking about, but you can see it with metal prints and acrylic prints also. So let's go ahead and take a look at a card, and cards are exactly the same as an album where we see that this red line will be cropped out. So I might go ahead and just move this down a little bit, just and move everything down a little bit. Actually, let me undo that. Let's let's select everything here and let's move it all down together and get those words a little bit further away from that pink line. Let's move this down also. So just to give you an idea that things will be cut into for cards also. So that is the thing you want to be most careful of is those cuts before you export or order. Now let's go ahead and show you. When you click the export button, you can export for print and those files are ready to go. We upsize, downsize. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything. Just click export and then you can upload to your labs ordering software and order through them. or. When we click order direct from lab, we can order it directly to the lab. Miller's and Graphy Studio are our biggest labs. I've already uploaded some albums. In order to order an album direct, it's very easy. Simply click the order direct button, click next, simply click the order direct from lab and follow the prompts. After all of the files are uploaded, click complete order and Fundy Designer will open the cart where you can choose your cover material, imprinting, paper types, etc. Just put in your credit card and click order and we will do all of the work to send that album off to Miller's or the lab of your choice. For wall art, it's the same. Click complete order and it will give you a preview of the wall collection. You can choose uh, classic canvas, pearl canvas, all of the choices that your lab has and then order that directly through the lab and again we will drop those files into the lab software for you and they will print and ship to your home and lastly cards the same thing ordering cards is actually quite confusing through a lot of lab software because there's so many choices so ordering through fundy designers direct ordering for cards is super easy just click uh, your paper type and then how many cards you want to order and we will go through all of the steps of dropping that into the labs ordering system for you and they will be shipped to your door. And that is how you order albums, wall art, and cards through Fundy Designer and what to be careful of before you send your order off. Remember, all of the ordering and export options are under this menu item off to the right here, this up arrow. If you're a professional wedding or portrait photographer, I hope this tutorial helped you. Please click like and subscribe for more tutorials on not only how to design better, but also how to make a ton more money using Fundy Designer.